Oh my god, kids, you're crazy. Georgia Pop! All of my diamonds to hit, I believe. If you got money, then give me a fee. I'm gonna be showing you another tutorial because I have no content and I'm very sick. I don't feel like doing this shit right now. Alright, so if you want to add how I just did right there, you want to go first thing you want to do is you want to go on Safari. Then you want to go into Pixlr to make your intro. So once you go into Pixlr, it should, it should, be, it should look like this. I will leave this in the description below. You can go there. You're gonna press on playful pixlr x here's some like recents on my channel you want to press create new and you can just name anything you want i'm gonna name it just name it whatever once you're here you want to um, press on text so once you've done that you should pop it this should be here so you can delete this you go right edited by all right so you know oh, I'm gonna leave this okay this font is not in this oh, it's, not, it's not it's not in pixlr it's fine I'm gonna leave it in the description below you're gonna download it to your computer and it should be like the first one here so after you did that once you wrote edited by you want to make the size small, probably like around right here, 28. Move it a little bit to the side. Then, you want to make a new text and write your name. So, I'm just going to do Veo because that's my name. Or right, just do whatever you want. Once you've done that, you want to go on the font. And look for Daddy Day. That's the font I used. It's like right here. Click on it. And you want to make it around, what, 95? 93 is good enough. No. That's good enough. So it should come out like this. Try to like line it up the the e and whatever letter it was so it looks like that i recommend changing the color of your name so it looks cool and whatever so i chose purple because of iMovie slightly lighter like like this so it should be like edited by you know, whatever your name is you want to do letter spacing to make it a little bit i put i really recommend negative two that looks good so this is basically it it's all you need so you want to save it and you it'll press download it should download right here want to drag this right here go right here click on downloads and drag it to your thing right here and that's it for the edited by so look it comes right here so you want to close close safari uh, so now this is here i'm going to open up imovie all right so once you open imovie you're going to want to put in your songs and your clips I already made a tutorial on how to input your song into iMovie, so just watch that. I'll leave that in the description, or I'll leave it in the description. Just click on it and watch that first. So I'm gonna do that right now. All right. So once you put in your song, grab whichever clip you're gonna use first. So I'm gonna use this one first. Trim it down. Let's just trim it down. Alright. So once you trim it down. Remember I already made a tutorial on how to edit how to sync it up. I'm gonna do it on this video, but I'm just saying last video I explained it better. This video I'm just gonna do it. So you're gonna sync up the clip. 
All right, once you synced up your clip, it should be good. All right, so that's good. What you're gonna do now is gonna grab your picture that you dragged onto your, your desktop. Just drag it here. So just pop it right here. I'm gonna grab it, put it on top of your thing, and it should just come out right here. So you're just gonna press fit. Go in here, press fit. Go in right here. And press picture and picture. It's gonna be small, but you could just drag it to whatever size you want. So put it in the middle. That's good. Put this down right here. Alright, so that's basically how you get the edited by. I'm sure, I'm gonna show you how to do the black and white and the mumble and shit. So you're gonna find wherever you want it to stop the the edited by like where where you want it to stop. So I'm gonna stop it around right here. That should be good. Let's look around right here. So once you've done that, go right here where you see where the clip ends. You're just gonna click on it and press Command B to split it. So it should split it. You have two clips now on the first clip. You wanna go right right here on it's like three circles. Press clip filter and press black and white. So the first clip will be black and white and the second clip will be normal. Alright, after that, what you want to do is, you don't have to do this, but I did this on my last video, and I think it, should, it looks good. Drag the edited by around right here. One, you Then after you, when you do that, go to backgrounds and grab black. Alright, since you've done that, place it right next to the edited by, so should go black grab this little circle thing drag it all the way so it should be in the middle then pull it to right where the first clip ends so it should look good all right once you've done that since i like since it's the edited by is on the screen and black and white I put my audio down to about 16 and I go on the three little circles here and press audio effect and put it on mumbled. So the clip is mumbled. I want to do the same thing with the song. Split it where you split the first clip and put it to 16 or whatever sounds good. And press on mumbled so it should be good all right now do you have the edited by it looks good for the flashing I did that in my last video I will do it again here though so find where we wanted to start flashing so let me find it all right, so take it right here. I'm gonna press M to mark it. Go on black and drag it right on the marker. Go right all like this. All right, so click on black and press. Oh, oh damn! So ignore that. So click on black. And spam command B. Try to like split it as many times, but in small portions. So like that's enough. Then once you have a few right here, just delete that. 
it's unnecessary and drag them all the way left if they're not short enough all right so once you've done that find where so the where I wanted to start flashing is right here so it's gonna bring that right on it and just make a little gap right in between them so it could flash so you see those little gaps so yeah it flashes but I want to add more so I'm just gonna Command C and it's like right next to it, do the exact same thing. And delete a few. Take these two. So it should come out good. Alright. So that's good. So once you've done that, you want to speed up and slow down the clip. I did that in my last tutorial, so go and go ahead and watch that to know how to do it. So I'm just going to do it right here. Alright, so once you made the, the uh, speed up and slow down, it should come out pretty good, so. So now for the transition, you want to go on my media, find your second clip, the one you're going to use, drag it to your timeline, sync it up. So I'm going to do that. So once you sync the clip up, so it's, it's like do this fast. Click right right here click on it make sure it's on pause because it's gonna play and go full screen and pause it as soon as soon as you get into full screen pause it so it should be right here put your mouse like all the way here and wait for this black bar in the middle to disappear you want to press shift command and three that's how you screenshot, you see right here, you screenshot it. So it should pop up. Drag it here. So once your screenshot's gonna be in your desktop, just drag it here. Like that. Once you got it, drag it to right here on the slow motion. Or in the middle on it. Then on this side, drag it to the end of the slow motion. So it should pop up out of nowhere. Then you want to click on it, press on this like cr the cropping thing, and press crop to fill so it doesn't move and it's all like it's fit, it's skilled up. Then you want to press on on video overlay settings like right here. And put, oh, put picture in picture. See right there. I'm gonna drag it. Once you got it, drag it to the middle. And press the the start option. A couple black lines gonna appear on it, and press shadow. So it comes out like this. We wanna do like four. So split four clips. So like Command B to how you split. See, oh, can't split that. Three or four doesn't really matter. So once you split all of them, on the second clip, you want to make it bigger. So you want to go on the video overlay settings and grab it and just drag it more and put it in the middle. Do the same thing with the third clip. Just make it bigger than the last clip, the last thing you had. So it should pop up like this, and it should look pretty cool. And yeah, 
that's pretty much it I showed you how to do the edited by and this transition right here but yeah that's pretty much it um thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time peace